Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in one of the last videos you noticed that I use a thread burner and you sent me some questions about this product. So I decided to show it to you in more detail in a separate video. Um, I just like to point out that this video is not sponsored, I bought this tool myself. This is ThreadZip 2 by the Beadsmith. Uh, this tool is used for cutting threads. It's good for keeping the thread from fraying when you need to cut it. It trims, burns or melts thread with one touch. It's ideal for finishing bead weaving projects and stringing projects. You need to put a AA battery inside, but this tool comes without a battery, so you have to buy it separately. Uh, you just screw off the end, put the battery inside and close it. Uh, if the tool starts to heat up slowly or stops working, it's time to replace the battery with a new one. It's got a safety cover, so you don't accidentally press down a button and burn something you don't want to. Uh, so if you want to cut a thread, you just press down the button, uh, this end heats up and cuts the thread precisely. You don't have to hold the button for long. Uh, when you hold it for about one or two seconds, the tip is so hot that it cuts the thread beautifully. Uh, if you hold the button longer, about five seconds, sometimes you can see the tip gets so hot that it glows red. Uh, it gets its maximum temperature. Uh, I couldn't find it on the official website, but Amazon says it can reach temperatures up to 371 degrees of Celsius, which is 700 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very, very hot and you have to be very careful when working with this tool uh, because the tip could burn you. So be very careful and keep it out of reach of children. You can see that the tip is extra fine, so the application is very precise. Uh, you can get into tight spaces very easily. As I said before, it's ideal for finishing bead weaving and stringing projects. Uh, when the tip is used up, you don't have to buy a whole new tool, just to replace that part. This is very useful because you never know, you might accidentally damage, bend or otherwise ruin it. The advantage over scissors is that you can get very close to the beadwork and uh, you get a very clean cut. However, uh, be careful not to melt the surrounding threads that you don't want to. This can happen especially with a bead weaving project. Because this tool melts the thread, it makes a tiny blob at the end. Uh, this can be a disadvantage if you are using a needle with a small eye, which is probably the situation with beadwork in most cases. So the way I do it is that if I know I'm going to need to thread that end of the thread onto the needle, I normally cut it off with scissors before I thread it. I don't want to call it an outright disadvantage, but the benefits outweigh the disadvantages here, uh, but I just wanted to point it out. This tool is primarily designed for cutting synthetic threads. Only with synthetic threads uh, will you achieve a precise and clean cut. Uh, if you cut, for example, cotton or wool, this will not, of course, be sealed, uh, but only burned. I do not recommend cutting any larger cords with this tool. The tip would get wrapped in material and it would get completely stuck and you would have to clean it. Beatsmith makes a separate product for this. You can see it here. I don't think that's part of uh, basic equipment if you are just starting out with beads. I did without this tool completely uh, for several years and I don't think it detracted from the quality of my products. In my opinion, it's kind of a gadget for the more advanced beaters. So that's all for today. If you like my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to turn notifications on so you don't miss any new videos. Also feel free to check my Instagram and other social media where you can find a lot of content you are not gonna see here on YouTube. Happy beating and see you next time. Bye!